Android 12 running like a boss on the Google Pixel 2 XL, a device which is no longer supported by Google but will be kept alive by custom ROM developers. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have our first look at Android 12 on the Google Pixel 2 XL. Now do note, Google is no longer officially updating the Pixel 2 XL, but this here is a custom ROM called Arrow OS based on Android 12 running like a boss on the Pixel 2 XL. So this is how the ROM comes out of the box. Let us have a look at our quick settings panel. Here are the different options and yes, they have added independent tiles for mobile data and for your Wi-Fi as well. If you go ahead and edit your tiles, you do have a bunch of different options as well, which do include screenshot, caffeine, extra dim and your dark theme tiles as well. Then if you want to have a look at the volume panel, this is how the volume panel is going to look like. And we can also have a look at the power buttons or the power options as well. So this is your power menu now do note this is arrow OS so unfortunately it does not come with pixel launcher out of the box you have arrows own launcher which means in your recents you have the option of screenshot or clear all and then you also have the option of application info kill or split screen for the applications now of course I'm pretty sure you are here for the Android 12 features so let us go ahead press and hold on the empty space go into home settings so here it is you do have a toggle to enable your Google feed then we can go into the widgets section and of course once you have updated all your applications from the Google Play Store you do have the paint chips widget and other than that if we go back into widgets and then go into the clock section you do have the five clock widgets the fancy smartwatch widget is also there and we can also go ahead and check out if we have the new weather widgets or not so here it is the new weather widgets are also available then we can go into wallpapers and style now do note google till date hasn't open sourced their material you theming engine and we are using K Dragons theming engine or Monet engine as you would like to call it. So you do have a toggle to enable or disable your dark theme and here it is. This is how dark theme is going to look like. Does look pretty dope and your quick settings panel should have adapted to dark theme. Same should have applied for the volume panel as well. Then you can also enable or disable your themed icons. Do note this is only going to theme the Google application icons. Third party applications are not supported by this yet. Next up, you can of course change your app grid as well. Change wallpaper and here in let us go into my photos. Use one of the ones from the downloaded section and we can apply this Spider-Man wallpaper to our home screen and to our lock screen and there it is. It does take some time for the changes to kick in but the accent colors have now adapted to the color red which is the new color of our wallpaper and here it is. You can see material you has applied to your messages application. It has applied to the phone application so it is going to apply to all the applications which do support the new material you theming engine from Google. Next up, let us head over to settings. So this is the settings page. You can of course search within your settings. Google keyboard is present, has adapted to material you. We can go into apps, see all apps. Let us go into the Chrome application permissions and go into location. So of course, three different options for your location, but you have the toggle to enable or disable your precise location and Google is pressing on your privacy with Android 12. Then you also have a toggle to remove the permissions if the app is not used for some time and once that is done it is going to show up in this unused applications section with respect to your default applications so again chrome browser is there google assistant and the launcher they are using is quick step launcher so unfortunately no pixel launcher on this build then we can go into notifications here and of course you do have your per app notification control notification history is there along with priority conversations and bubbles now do note whatsapp does not support 
support bubbles right now then we can go into the option of battery so in battery of course you do have your battery usage and this is the style of graph you are going to get it is going to show you your screen usage time battery saver is there no pixel exclusive extreme battery saver on this build and you also have adaptive battery and a toggle to enable or disable the battery percentage in your status bar next up we can head over to the sound option so here in you of course have your sliders for all the different options but you do have a toggle to enable or disable the linking of ring and notification volumes then you also have live caption works without any issues and you can of course choose to show your media player pin it to your quick settings and if you want to see media recommendations or not toggles for all the different options the addition by this specific rom is the toggle to enable or disable your screenshot sound moving over to display you do have adaptive brightness works without any issues then if you go into lock screen always on display is there works like a boss there it is super cool super dope animations of android 12 working without any issues double tap to wake is there there it is double tap to wake working without any issues they also have double tap to sleep on the status bar and lift to check i think is broken on this specific build then of course you can configure your screen timeout dark theme toggle is there you can configure it based on a custom time or from sunset to sunrise as well then you can change the font size display size similarly you have night light can be scheduled from custom time or from sunset to sunrise and of course for night light you can change the intensity using the slider colors you can choose between natural boosted and adaptive working without any issues you do have your rgb sliders as well and as you can see on your screen right now all these options do work then you have a toggle for auto rotate screen as well next up we can jump over to security so in security the rom is encrypted out of the box and you have your fingerprint scanner working without any issues then we can jump over to privacy so in privacy of course if you want to disable the stats or your reporting of this specific device for this custom rom you can do so then you also have privacy dashboard so here and you can see whatever applications have access to your location camera microphone here it is microphone was used by google and gboard in the past camera was used by camera go then you also have master toggles to enable or disable system wide camera access and microphone access and a toggle to show your clipboard access as well so let let us have a quick demo of this two toggles of camera and microphone let us go into video mode and try to record a video now once you start recording the video you will notice you have a notification telling you that camera and microphone are being used by camera go now what if i go ahead and disable the microphone access so here it is you can now see that i am only getting a notification that camera is being used by camera go and mic access was blocked and now it is back so this is something new which google has added with android 12 and as you can see it is working without any issues next up we can head over to the option of system let us go into gestures yes active edge is there bam there it is you can see working without any issues and with android 12 you do get extended screenshot in certain places as well and here it is you can use these nubs to configure what all content you want to capture once you have decided what you want to capture tap and save on the top left and working without any issues swipe fingerprint for notifications bam here it is this option also works without any issues then going back into gestures you have quickly open the camera by pressing the power button twice system navigation two different options three button navigation this is your old school style or if you want to use gestures you have that as well swipe to invoke assistant and configuring the sensitive for the back gesture for the left edge and the right edge one handed mode is there and as you can see works without any issues you can of course create a shortcut for one handed mode as well in case you want to do that then you also have the option of double tap works without any issues lift to check is broken and you can also press and hold the power button to invoke your assistant in case you want to and there it is assistant working without any issues and how do you turn off your device then you will have to either use your quick settings panel or the other option is to press power and volume up together to bring up your options for turning off the 
device other than that you also have advanced restart prevent ringing now do note if you are using your power button for the assistant then you will not be able to use this prevent ringing because we are using that button combination for the power menu then you also have double tap to sleep on the lock screen we already did a demo here is it one more time double tap to sleep on the lock screen and you can also use your volume buttons for media playback control in case you want to next up do note that downloading applications from the play store works without any issues also play protect certification device is certified this means you should be able to use your banking apps without any issues in terms of youtube media playback everything works absolutely fine live caption works picture in picture works no jitters no lags in the ui when playing youtube videos of course for picture in picture to work either you need to have youtube premium or you need to be in a specific country in case you do not want to pay for YouTube premium. With respect to the Google Assistant, the Assistant keyword works with the screen turned on. With the screen turned off, it does not work. And super surprisingly, if you invoke the Assistant, ask for interpreter mode, interpreter mode is going to kick in and it works absolutely fine. Now do note, interpreter mode is supposed to be a Pixel 6 exclusive feature, but Fortunately for us, it is working on this specific Android 12 ROM for the Pixel 2 XL as well. Now, with respect to your Google Photos, you get storage, saver unlimited, and if you are using original quality, it is going to count against your device's storage. If you go ahead and try to edit any picture, wait for this loading bar to finish, go into tools here it is you can see i have the option of portrait light working without any issues now do note portrait light is going to work only on human objects it is not going to work on my chicken friend over here next thing we can check for is the app opening animations to see if there is any lag or any jitter in the ui now to be very honest there is this little lag or jitter in the ui when you open the different menus but do note this is a very initial build of android 12 for the pixel 2 xl so i am pretty sure those bugs or those issues are going to be ironed out the recents are pretty smooth as well you can also see the scrolling for google feed and here it is you can see it is pretty smooth once the content has loaded we can also try to switch between a few applications to see if you have any issues in that regard so there it is you can see no issues with respect to switching between the applications so what is the final take on android 12 on the pixel 2 xl running via your custom rom called arrow os well there are a few nickels here and there like the animations do get a bit jittery and the menu opening is also a bit jittery at times but again as i mentioned earlier pretty early days for android 12 on the pixel 2 xl and things are only going to get better from here and it is of course pretty dope to see a device which is no longer being updated by google kept alive by the awesome custom rom developers out there and there it is peeps that was our first look at android 12 running on the pixel 2 xl and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you